Coach, uh, that left guard spot's one I want really want to ask about. Um, you know, Brock was working in before he got nicked up, and then Christian, and now it kind of seems like Falili has the, the inside track to that spot. I mean, is that kind of how things are playing out right now? No, I wouldn't say that. I, I think we got a handful of guys, those guys you mentioned, that are kind of really battling for, for that spot, so to say. Um, we've kind of – Christian kind of had all week last week to go with the ones and see if we could gel with that unit, and then we wanted to see if Lili had the opportunity to same for a whole week, and we hadn't made a decision on it yet. Still got one more scrimmage to go, and then we'll try to figure out who's going to be in that role moving forward. It just in general, does seem like the rest of the, the other four guys are pretty solidified once Maki returns. I uh, would. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, right now I feel like they probably played the best, you know. So um, yeah, I mean, I definitely think the the reps have been pumped into those guys, and and as far as you know, I, I would say they have definitely the the inside track on those positions. How close are Maki and Brock to kind of getting back into full swing? Uh, really close, really close. They've done a great job. The strength, uh, strength staff and the and the training staff have done a great job with those guys. So they'll be just fine. Just kind of uh, doing some stories on Christian and Devin. Can you just kind of talk about each one of those guys and kind of what they bring to the table and how you've seen them develop? So Christian, really, you know, like I said he's a he's a he's a pretty good football, just naturally pretty good athlete. You saw that he won the basketball competition thing, though. But like you know, what I've seen and what I've really liked about Christian this camp is competitive spirit you know it was one of those things when we were picking who got to do the challenge he wanted it like he, he wanted to step up and wanted to be the guy with the ball and all stuff like that I think he's done that this camp I think he really loves to play football I really do I, I think he enjoys being out here and and he loves to do it he pays attention I think he's really improved himself and I keep reminding myself he's still a pretty young player he's just a freshman still so I think he's got an opportunity to be a really good football player um, really proud of, of Kalani um, He's done a great job coming off of injuries and, and, and battling adversity. Uh, definitely a guy that has tons of energy. Great, great, unbelievable character in our room. I, he's, one of, he's one of the favorites in the room, always bringing the right attitude, the right energy. But, you know, him bouncing into center has been really good for him. He's got a chance to really, you know, his personality fits that position and getting an opportunity to really kind of run the room, kind of command the offense, get to make the calls, be the be the, the coach on the field. And he's done a great job with it. I think he's really found the spot that he needs to play moving forward. I asked them this as well. All the offensive linemen race, who's winning? I'm going to say Jared Hilborn. I mean, yeah, Jared Hilborn. Jared Kingston, sorry. Hey, you got Hilborn on my mind there. Jared Kingston, I think, wins the race. You have a lot of freshmen in that room, um, you know, between scholarship guys and walk-ons. Uh, any one or two guys that have really stood out to you so far? Say, that, say that again. Any uh, other freshmen that have really stood out to you so far? Uh, I think, you know, like I said, early in camp, I think Landon and uh, Jacobus really did some good things early. I think as camp went on, I think the two tackles, Zach uh, Miller and uh, Luke Roten, I think they kind of stepped up and really kind of were, you know, the ones that were elevating their play, so to say. And so uh, those two kids, those four right there, really done some good things. Uh, th those four kids in general, I say, have, you know, kind of stepped up and been – you know, the ones that are, you know, probably the most ready to play right now. Do you have any, uh, you know, off-season or springtime concerns about your group that you feel like at this point in fall camp have kind of been smoothed out? Uh, you know, we, we've got to, you know, we've got to be a little more consistent. I mean, we got to be out here every day. I mean, that's one thing in the spring ball. It was a constant revolving door of who's going to practice that day, you know, and it was tough to sit there and gel and, and create some continuity and, I think they worked really hard in the summer and did some good things as far as preparing themselves for the season, but it's kind of been the same thing. We got to, we got to make sure that we're we're out here on a daily basis consistently, where we can have all those guys getting the reps that they need to gel the units together and and be ready to go. How, how solid have uh, you know the, those old guys, the like Kingston, Stevens, and and Gomnes, uh, Could you just kind of give us an evaluation of how have you felt that they've? performed so yeah, far I, I've, been, I've been really happy uh with, with uh grant you know coming in as a you know his first year being here he really put in the time from from the minute he got on campus and got here uh he worked uh really really hard to to prepare himself all through summer to be able to come out here first day and know what he's doing you know so i really commend him he's been there every single day he's been i mean he's done a really good job uh, and and it's, he's just a great kid. He's gelled really well with the group. He's a leader out there. Like I said, I've been really pleased with him. Uh, Jarrett's done a great job. Jarrett's a, a really good player, really talented kid. Uh, like I said, he, you know, when he's out there doing his thing, I mean, he really does, you know, it's one of those things. You, he's the example you always kind of watch. And then, you know, the leader of the group is Connor. Connor's done an unbelievable job from, from day one of taking control of that group, being a leader, and organizing everything and make sure that, 
you know, we, we become together as, as one. And like I said, he's the one out there every single day calling it, making it happen, getting everybody in the right spots, and uh, really, really done a good job. Has uh, maybe their Kingston or Gomnus been the most consistent performer, would you say? Well, I'd say, I mean, Con Connor hasn't missed a rep since we've been here. He's, he's taken every single rep. Uh, so I'd definitely say that Connor's been the most consistent.